Right now, though, we want to continue our push to make a difference in the community, telling you all about the Ada Jenkins Center. So as we've said before, this is in Davidson. They have four main pillars when it comes to helping the community, focusing on helping students, doing social work, financial literacy, and then offering the food pantry. WCNC Charlotte's Fred Shropshire has been spending the day out there. And uh, Fred, it looks like you are in the food pantry right now. Uh, what can you tell us about the work that they do out of this particular part of the center? Oh yeah, Vanessa, the food pantry does a lot of work. Traditionally, when you see a food pantry, you know that they have helped people a lot, especially during the pandemic. And when you think of a place like the Davidson community, Lake Norman, you think there's a lot of affluence, but there are people here who need help. WCNC Charlotte's Ruby Durham explains how this pantry is helping those people. I'm here at the Ada Jenkins Center where they provide everything from financial assistance, uh, educational services, a homeless outreach program, and they also give necessities like you see around me here at the food pantry and families need it. Take a look. I used to make this much a month and then I made this much a month. COVID hit affecting Teresa Waugh, putting her in a place she never expected to be. It's just been a reality check. I've never thought I'd have to ask for help, but I have. The Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry at the Ada Jenkins Center has always been an important part of the center. We want people to know it's okay to ask for help. We don't want people to feel their shame in that. That's why we're here. The pantry is now open one day a week and glad to be able to have in-person shopping again. But we know that people want to choose their food. There's dignity to that, to letting people make their own choices. Weekly volunteers help residents of Davidson and surrounding areas make sure they have necessities. Uh, we have grits, oatmeal, instant. Uh, what do you like and what do you need? My goal is to make sure you're taken care of. The hope is that the food pantry oh, okay. will provide a seven day supply of groceries Excellent. for people. The total nutrients are calculated by a registered dietitian and vary depending on the size of the family. Teresa and many others in the community appreciate the help the Ada Jenkins Center provides them. Thank you. God bless you. I hope the rest of your life is healthy, happy, and blessed because these people give up their hearts and their time, and they don't get anything but friendship and thank yous in return. And I hope that means the world to them because this means the world to me. Go make a difference so we can continue the effort today. I'm Ruby Durham, WCNC Charlotte. Back here live now, you can see the shelves here. The food pantry does accept donations from the community. It is one of the things I've learned since I've been here as we've seen people come and go. But if you look at these shelves, they've got mustard there, but very little. It's actually one of the items that they need most. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, salad dressing, and canned fruit. But really today, we are asking you, our viewers out there, if you will dig a little deeper. If you go to our website, wcnc.com slash make a difference, you'll see a link to this center's Amazon wish list. You'll see items under that wish list. And if you would just purchase one of those, you'd be making a huge difference, Vanessa. Yeah, every little bit helps. And um, we're just so amazed and, and grateful to see the work that's being done there. And um, I can't wait to see what you have next for us, Fred. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yes, yeah, so we'll remind you once again of that address where you can go to help make a difference. It is WCNC.com slash make a difference. You can purchase items from the center's Amazon wish list and we'll let you know that we are right there with you trying to help WCNC Charlotte, Tegna Foundation, Steel Skin Realty, Parham Family Foundation, chipping in $5,000 already. So let's, let's make this a big success today. And um, please go to that website.